But first, South Korea is keeping a watchful eye on how Tokyo will interpret its apology over the use of women across Asia as wartime sex slaves. Now, the, uh, the Abe administration is expected to announce the results of its review of the so-called Kono Statement sometime this Friday. The Kono Statement issued in 1993 is the Japanese government's acknowledgement and apology for its military sexual enslavement of women and girls before and during World War II. Now, speaking at the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva Thursday, South Korean ambassador to the UN in Geneva, Choi Seok Young, called Japan's probe into the apology deplorable and regrettable. The South Korean government believes there is a sense of Japan. There is a sense that Japan is attempting to distance itself from the atrocities of the past through this review.